please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Let's dread movie thoughts. I quite like the idea of cloning, and I'm always interested in it. like as a as a concept. I'm I'm as yet undecided on how I feel about its implication about about the ethical implications in real life. That's but anyway, as as a concept in fiction and am always interested in how it's treated and the in this they unfortunately want to have their cake and eat it too because the 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 judges that the 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 judges made from the original you know the we have Rico and we have dread basically that was a 50 50 thing there's clearly they can't be sure if they can control them it would make sense if they put in some kind of controlling I don't know, alter some genetics so they be more docile or something. But basically they're just talking about making more of that same group even, again, even though that was a 50-50 thing. And then they, uh, what's his name, Griffin, Jürgen Prochner, flips out when he sees that Rico is having his what's it called, using his DNA for the new clones. I can't believe they actually had the line, send in the clones, man. Even though that's the same DNA as the, yeah, it's, it's like they think that Rico's DNA is like automatically tainted somehow. That would be the nature side of the nature, nurse, nature versus nurture argument. Whereas the original, well, that's the, actually, I guess that's also the nature argument, but yeah, bottom line, still the same DNA. Now, the. Someone in the world of this movie badly needs to fix the, the the guns so that they aren't so easily fired when they shouldn't be that when, when the plane crashes in the curse of earth the that that guy accidentally shoots one of the pilots i think and even from just Falling over, he accidentally presses the trigger, I guess, and successfully shoots. It just seems like there should maybe be some kind of trigger guard or something to make that less likely to happen. And Rico escaping from the prison cell is, you know, that that gun just shoots the 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 other guard. I do find. It, it's fairly clever how he shoots out the throat of the guard, and so, yeah. And the... But, but yeah, how, how exactly did Rico avoid the, the gun, you know, sh yeah, shooting him? He just suddenly 
pops up from underneath. When when he was going down there, didn't it uh, try to shoot him or? Yeah, that's. Now the. <laughs> I admit that they did at least find two people who look fairly similar, you know, Asante and Stallone. But you do have to wonder why exactly they didn't realize that they were of the same DNA, or at least why Stallone didn't, I guess. Maybe Rico knew? But yeah, that... It, it just seems like the kind of thing you'd maybe notice, especially if you were, you know, an investigator. Now, the... It's, it's kind of... When, when one of the main rules of the comic is to never show Dredd's face, it's a pretty big middle finger to the audience, to the fans of the source material when he takes that helmet off pretty early on in the film and I'd say for, yeah, yeah, for two-thirds of it, he doesn't even wear the helmet, period. It's, it's taken from him during that nice big dramatic speech with Prokhna, let him be removed from our hearts and all that. And you know, it, it was a decent enough contrast between that and the Max von Sydow's character walking up. Every single time I see someone walking down and there's all these people holding guns over their head, I always just think, what if just one of those guns went off at just the wrong time? Then it would be a completely different ceremony, very swiftly. I love how the clones being released there at the end actually makes the lab gradually explode. It's not even like someone shot the machinery or something. I, why doesn't the computer just stop the clones? It's like it's, it's, it doesn't have fail-safes, like the, the guns. Who doesn't put a trigger guard on a minigun that people carry around? Anyway. The, the computer says, well, it's too early to send in the clones. I, I guess it's just kind of, it, it doesn't really care that much. It's like, fine, if you want to blow it, then I'm not going to bother you. Just, or I'm not going to prevent you. Just don't bother me for a while. I'm going to play solitaire, if you don't mind. I do have a life of my own. And, uh, yeah. But, but yeah, I thought that the, some of the commentary on the cloning issue is interesting enough in the movie with these various I ideas of... I, I love how when... Yeah, I know I'm d jumping tangents, I'll try to return. When Rico says to Griffin, uh, I'm changing these... The, these Clones won't be your puppets. Uh, I will control them, so they'll be your puppets instead of his puppets, I guess. But yeah, this. Uh, yeah, you know, Rico talking about. Actually, I couldn't entirely deduce if Rico was supposed to want to control them or if he actually wanted free will, which is. You know, it's. it's should justice be just blind and always kind of, of and, and always follow a certain set of rules, or should it, these be human beings with empathy, with free will? And that's an interesting 
debate and a debate that I think should be ongoing always because it's it's not entirely good if either side wins. You don't want there to never you don't want the, for police and law enforcement to never take extenuating circumstances into account, but you also don't want them always just sympathizing and you know caring so much about the the, the, the criminals or that that will be taken advantage of, you know. I think the one place that the effects really don't hold up is the 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 hover bike chase. I am I was a little unsure if that was like green screen or uh, crap, rear, rear project rear projection, but yeah, it was kind of obvious. It, you could really tell when they, I mean, they, they even tried, they tried to go for the, <coughs> excuse me, the, the illusion of cutting from you seeing something on the, on, on the screen to you, to, to you seeing an actual physical object pass, like, overhead, there's a point where, Rob Schneider, like so, something is moving towards him, another hover bike, I guess, from above, and he sort of ducks and then it cuts to another shot where he's ducking and you actually see something move over his head. And yeah, they, they tried, but yeah, it doesn't really work out. It's it's still really obvious how they how they did it. I think that the sort of the opening crawl does a good job of making you realize why the why there is this all this rampant crime, but then in that initial excuse me action scene, the the so-called block war sequence. I really wasn't quite clear what, I don't know, if, yeah, what exactly they were trying to accomplish. I'm, I'm not saying that they had some like major goal in mind, but obviously there had to be something causing that situation, right? Yeah, I didn't really feel like the movie made you understand what exactly that was. near the end of the film, or I suppose the last third or so, when Dredd is... Once Dredd has made it back into Mega City 1, he's basically killing all these guys who are on the same side as him. It's because they think that he's a criminal. He really should be putting effort into keeping them alive, it would, I mean, he, he's all about how the, the law makes no mistakes and all this stuff, and then when he's faced with these, I don't know, I suppose they're, I'm not sure he kills any fellow judges, but he kills a lot of members of this, ah, crap, I don't remember what it's called, but the, the group, the the black clad group, actually were those all corrupt? Huh, wait, fair enough, maybe they were supposed to all be corrupt even though you only see that one group take 
Yeah, the, the one group that's out in the cursed earth are clearly corrupt because they actually kill the pilot even though Griffin... I love how he keeps having to repeat it. It's, it's pure, what's it called, golden years, I think. With, you know, there, are no, there are no survivors. Oh, wait, well, Dread might be... Nope, there are no survivors. Oh, wait, the pilot's... No survivors! How many times do I have to tell you this? Do it now! Watch that movie, and you'll get that joy. It's actually almost worth it to sit through that entire movie just to get that one joke. Or I guess, I don't know, maybe it's the clip's up on YouTube somewhere. But definitely watch, see if you can watch that clip, it's pretty hilarious. Anyway. Yeah, I suppose we were just supposed to accept that they were all corrupt. Even though weren't there some there at the end as well? Actually, I'm pretty sure there were, in addition to... I think there was only, like, one street judge. I guess that's the only one left. Why did Central broadcast the Janus plan after... Was that, like, payback for, you know, the, the clones? Okay, okay, I'll dispatch your stupid clones, but I'm gonna broadcast your secret plan. So there. Now... I will say, I can totally understand fans getting really frustrated with this movie for things like including a, what you call it, love, love interest, love subplot, a romance between Judges Dredd and Hershey when in the comics that's apparently strictly prohibited. You know, judges are not to have romantic relationships with anyone. Not only other judges, but no one. They're not allowed to. And that makes a lot of sense. It's... You, you don't really want them to have... Part of, it's, it's like the, the priest thing. You want them to be more focused on their work. I'm not sure that... You know, with priests, it certainly hasn't proven to really work, but I personally don't want someone out, you know, on the street armed with a handheld grenade launcher, among other things, a you know, rapid fire weapon, who might just have a bad day because his girlfriend isn't, you know, is, is because he and his girlfriend are having a fight or something, so yeah. And, and, in general, sort of unemotional justice. I, suppose, I like the nice, uh, kind of, big, built-up introduction to Dread. As, uh, at, at first we just see he gets the, almost, he, he gets the, the call from her, she, she's you know, calling for backup, and he turns the and, and he drives up, and we see this you know, pan all the way up across him, and yeah, that, that just does a good job of really establishing him as, you know, making him appear as bad as, as he proves to be. I also love how it's apparently just his badassery that makes his surprise attacks work, whereas the rookies, not so much, you know, he's just, and, and Stallone even knows it, it's like, no kid, you're not the star of this movie, you can't just barge into a room and shoot, do you think you're the star here? It's, yeah. I think the movie could have done a better job sort of showing that not all, you know, they, they, they do execute some, but as far as I could tell f from what little research I did read Wikipedia, the 
actually executing people, you know, judges executing people, it's not all that common. It happens, and they certainly have the legal right to if if it is required, if the situation calls for it. But in this one, it's just kind of we barely see them arrest anybody. It's pretty much most most of what we see Dredd do as a judge is executions. Executions. So, yeah. Actually, the the 2003 game Dread versus Death is a much better representation of that. Actually, as yeah, again. Judging by Wikipedia, meaning what Wikipedia says about the comic and the actual gaming experience. Now the that might more or less cover it. I believe so. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.